Honorable members, when you are called upon to stop, you should stop. In fact, you are supposed to take your seat and continue when you are called upon. I just wanted to tell you that the more time you take to debate your question, you are denying other members of parliament to ask questions as well. Well guided, Madam Speaker. Her Honour the Vice President. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Uh, the concern for the member to start with, he talked of this government inheriting coffers that are empty. This really shocks me when people keep asking that, uh, what are you, why are you doing what you are doing if there was no money? It is a plain and understanding that is required here. When you say there is no money, even last time I said it doesn't mean there is no coin. You have to understand. You have the language. <laughs> Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Order. this house should ask questions and want to hear. We have had questions, many questions, including yesterday, and they will appear today. Why is this stored? Why is that stored? So, is that not an indication that the money that was, you know, was supposed to go to those uh, programs are not, is not there? What does that mean? So when we talk of empty, it doesn't mean that children are not eating in their home when you say we have no money. You may just have the necessities going on. Order. Madam Speaker, mm -hmm. the, use, the going around by the presidents, I'll use the word presidents, is not doing anything strange, he is working within the law. Yeah. Yeah. I am not aware that ministers are traversing in public vehicles. They move in their own private vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a right, just like members of parliament here, go everywhere to campaign. So as a government, Going to a campaign where there is a local government by election, to us is very important. We have a duty to ensure that Zambians make the right decision for once without the interference that was there before. Let me congratulate them for winning Kaumbwe oh, yeah. and uh, Lusangazi. But they must also know that we have won in many other areas. We have won, we, we have congratulated them. We congratulate you. Order, but order. we have to admit that that was PF held. So that is not a winning. That is retention, honorable members. You have retained your seat. Your PND has won in Mwansabongwe. Oh. And that is what we call penetration yeah. of other peoples. So the actual winners, Madam Order. Speaker, is Order. UP and D. The rest, we have retained our seats. Thank you, Madam. The Honorable Member for Momba Constituency. Uh, Madam Speaker, thank Order. you very much. Your one of the vice president in the the World Bank funded rural roads to be worked on in all the 10 provinces of Zambia. And Madam Speaker, as usual, uh, the PF government then started or put these roads, these provinces in batches, starting with what they perceived to be their strongholds in the north. And the southern province and western provinces were Honorable the last. Member. The, our owner, the vice president, cannot get your question. Can you be louder? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Are you getting me now? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, Madam uh, Speaker, I was uh, uh, saying uh, through our owner, the vice president, that in 2017, 
the World Bank funded rural roads to be worked on in all the 10 provinces of this country. And as usual, uh, the PF government then started with their perceived strongholds in working on these roads, leaving southern province and western provinces to be the, the last. Now, Madam Speaker, uh, we honor the Vice President. Surprisingly, uh, three weeks ago, we did the follow-up as to when our province, or that is southern province, was going to be attended to. Uh, it was shocking, Madam Speaker, to find that, in fact, southern province, I don't know about western province, that this project has been suspended or has been done away with. Uh, in Monze, for example, we are given 101 uh, kilometer of road to, to be question, done. Honorable member, go straight to the question. My, my question, uh, Your Honor, the Vice President, is where has this money gone to, which was given by the World Bank to work on these roads, such as the Hajanga Viola Road in Momba Consequence, where we are waiting? Where has this money gone to? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Her Honor, the Vice President. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the question asked by the Honorable Member for Mumba, that uh, there was money given by the World Bank for all the provinces. In his statement, he says uh, the previous government started work in their perceived the strongholds um, and the, in their perceived stronghold. <laughs> they are former strongholds, thank you. Uh, um, that other areas were left out. Mm -hmm. I would, uh, I'm happy to tell this house that yes, that may have been the case, but the money is still there. And even the provinces that were not reached the areas like uh, Momba, the work will continue. Thank you, Nata. Yeah. Thank you. The Honorable Member for Pambashe. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker. Your Honor, the Vice President, I am concerned at the breach of ministerial code of conduct by some of your ministers, basically, or the corrective responsibility, because this may warrant a motion of censure or writing to the Chief Justice, bearing in mind that His Excellency the President has been preaching to unite the country, while some of your ministers are busy demonizing even the region where you come from. I understand they may not feel how you feel when they talk about the northern region and other ministers who are saving the new Don government. You're one of the vice president. I was privileged to serve in government, and I think even the speaker will agree that if the minister in the last parliament would want to go region, a speaker would, would censure that minister and say, minister, or minister, because it is against the ministerial, the code of conduct, and against the constitution of Zambia. I served in, in the previous administration where the donor-funded projects, like the climate resilience, were concentrated in western and southern province. And we didn't say they had neglected the northern part of Zambia. That's a fact. Yeah. I served in under the Kaza region. Millions of dollars have been concentrated in the northern, western, and southern part of Zambia. Living even in Sumbu National Park, where you come from, we never stood here as ministers to say this region. The World, the World Bank projects were studied by the World Bank in 2009, during the reign of MMD. Implementation began in 2013. Roads and projects selected. What now, is question? it in order mm -hmm. for your ministers within the government that, that is preaching unit to continue breaching the ministerial code of ethics and conduct by maligning a certain region that within the cabinet May they may not be sensitive to your feelings, those of you who are coming from that region. Yeah. Is it in order for them to continue order. maligning? 
finish your question, Honorable Member. Is it in order, Madam Vice President, honestly, let's do our with politics for ministers sworn to continue maligning a certain region of the country against the spirit of His Excellency the President, who's been preaching for unity of purpose, bringing the country together, or will they let some backbenchers to move a motion of censure against some ministers if they continue? I thank you, Your Honor, the Vice President. Thank you, Her Honor, the Vice President. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker, for allowing me to respond to the concerns and the question by the Honorable Member for Pambashi. What uh, I love about this is that the Honorable Member acknowledges our principle that we want to unite this country. Yeah. And we are working to do exactly that. It is one Zambia, one nation. It can be seen even today, honorable uh, members, Madam Speaker, that, uh, that we are working to unite. Even Mahasawombwe today is showing unity. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Order. point that I would like to learn from the Honorable Member is uh, for today, I haven't had any minister who is trying to divide yeah. the, the country. It is truly collectively agreed that we must bring development to every part of Zambia. Yeah. And uh, if there are questions that are being asked from the back, unless those also become part of the ministerial uh, you know, conduct. Right now, no minister can ask me here a question during the vice president's question time. So I don't know, maybe when that happens or he has evidence of a minister trying to segregate one region against the other. To this government, Zambia is one. Yeah. Nobody will divide Zambia. Yeah. Whatever may have happened, there are no more bedrooms. Yeah. There are no more cockroaches. No. Every Zambian is yeah. a Zambian. There is no rat in our country. Where I come from, the north, there are Zambians. Where the south is, there are Zambians. Yeah. It is human beings everywhere. And we intend to keep it that way. Anybody who divides a country is not worthy to be a leader. If you have done, you repent now. God is not a heart. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The honorable yeah. member order, the honorable member for Mufumbwe. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Your honor, the vice president. As you are aware, Mufumbwe is one of the biggest districts in Zambia. And I'm happy to report to the House that the honor, your honor, you went to Mufumbwe and you know how vast Mufumbwe is. I'd like to find out from the new Dawn government and the people of Mufumbwe are asking, is it not prudent now to give Mufumbwe another uh, district due to its vastness, which is sharing Kayema, Kaoma, Kasempa, Mumbwa, and Maninga? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Her Honor, the Vice President. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for that question. Uh, cabinet or government has not decided to start considering creation of no, new districts. I sit here, and yesterday I was listening to a statement, of course, uh, the Honorable Minister of uh, Health did refer to what was happening in the past, uh, uh, you know, government, where you have let there be. Let there be. It is not about let there be to please people politically. What we need, number one, is the infrastructure in the different parts of, of uh, Mufumbwe, just like other parts of the country. I can't tell this house that we have that plan right now. We don't, but we intend to take development everywhere, including Mofumbwe. In some remote parts of Mofumbwe, they need health services, they need 
schools and they need other amenities that are necessary for good life. The Honorable Member for Sikongo. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity to ask a question. Madam Speaker, the level of damage to the unity of this country caused by the former PF regime is unprecedented, to say the least. Under the UNIP and the MMP governments, Zambia was a beacon of peace and tranquility, not only in Africa, but the world at large. Unfortunately, this status was completely destroyed under the PF regime, in which tribalism, regionalism, violence, and hate speech were the order of the day. Madam Speaker, I would like to find out from our honor, the Vice President, what measures will be undertaken by the new Dawn government to ensure that sustain sustainable unity, peace, and tranquility are restored in this beautiful country, apart from equitable development and employment opportunities across the 10 provinces of this country? I thank you. Her Honor, the Vice President. Thank you, Honorable Member for Congo, Madam Speaker, for his question about unity and the concern. I think this is coming out very strongly. 